let's get started. So, I am going to be talking about contribution sprints, getting started and making sure you'll come back and keep coming back for more. Um, my name is Emma. On, in Drupal World, I am Emma Maria. I'm a front-end developer at Maisy Labs in Switzerland and I'm a Bartic theme maintainer. So I look after this thing here that you see when you first install Drupal. And I attend a lot of sprints everywhere. I mentor and I help organize them. So I do a lot of sprints. So what is a sprint? Um, so sprints pretty much look like this photo, if you can see it. It's a, yeah, it's a lot of people sat in groups, in rooms together with their laptops. Um, sprints are opportunities for people to get together and work on Drupal, improving it. Uh, sprints are usually split into initiatives, and these are specific areas of Drupal that people are focusing on. So multilingual, front-end views, rules, documentation, sections like these. Uh, why should you attend a sprint? Um, you may have some negative thoughts, don't listen to these seagulls. They're, I had these thoughts when I first started sprinting where I can't help with anything, I'll slow people down, it's not for me, it's too far away. Don't listen to all this, I will, I will, yes, I will change my mind. <laughs> so, um, a few months ago, I asked the community questions about sprinting, how they started, what they love about it, why they do it, because I just, I wanted to answer this question and let you know. This was my favorite response. This is Ruben. He does a hell of a lot for sprinting. He's an amazing mentor. At sprints, he gets everyone working, completing things. He's great. He's not here today, though, so whatever. But this is what he said to me. He sent me an email, and it was lovely. Um, I love sprinting because this is where Drupal is made. Sprints are the heart of Drupal, a bunch of people with different interests sitting together and working on the same project, a project they believe in. And that pretty much sums up very well. So, what can you achieve at a sprint? Firstly, you will learn a lot. You will learn about contributing to Drupal, so, which is a huge learning process. You will learn how to use the issue queue, how to find issues, how to use Drupal 8, many, many things. It's it takes a long time to get a handle on, but it's, it's good. And once you learn these things, you can start learning more and taking on more complex things of like the work you're actually working on. So say a front-end task, you do a really simple one to start with, but then over time you can take on something a lot more complex and you'll learn a lot more and you can take this back like to your client projects or whatever. And yeah, you use it. You end up using it in the future, even if you don't think so at the time. It's great. Um, learning also leads to communication. Um, Spreads are the perfect opportunity to share knowledge. Everyone, um, hang on. Perfect. Yeah, you are in a big room with everyone, and you can ask as many questions as you want. To the person next to you, to the person across the room, the whole table, you can ask as many things as you want and you will get the answers there and then, which is much better than just posting something online and hoping someone will get back to you at some point. Things get lost, forgotten about, whereas in a sprint you can be like, hey you, I need to get this done, or I want to work on this. Thank you. Everyone at a sprint is there to learn, help, and help things move on, like progress. I also use Sprint's opportunity to hang out with people who are similar to me. So I hang out with the front end gang, rabble, whatever you want to call us. <laughs> um, and because I don't have too many front enders in my company, so there's normally just two of us, whereas the front end there's loads of us. And you find out all the things, share what you've done since last time. And yeah, I use it to just catch up and hang out with my front end friends. Okay, so all of this communication, learning these two, moving things forward. People get together as friends, they bring ideas, discussions, plans, huge things they want to achieve, and people will talk these things out for hours. They will sit in corridors, in sprint rooms, with whiteboards like this, that guy, and things will, things will come out of this, um, huge things. 
um, I will discuss the banana initiative. Um, so in Austin, Beamers wanted to decide once and for all what we're going to do with the markup. So a few people went outside in the corridor, many more people joined, and they were out there. I was in the sprint room still mentoring and things, but they were out there for hours deciding, and I kept poking my head out. And then the pointing and writing, and it was hours and hours. And at the end of it, um, a huge thing got decided. There is now a new theme in Drupal 8 called Classy, which well, Morton will subscribe later. But it's a huge thing. Like That didn't exist at the beginning of the day. And then at the end of the sprint, a huge thing existed. So this, this also doesn't happen working on at home, just posting something, waiting for someone to be back on. Like A lot of things are achieved at sprints. So, also, you can try new skills at Sprint. You don't have to sit and do the thing you do day to day. So, a developer doesn't have to turn up and just write code. They can try completely new things. Like, you might not get the opportunity to train someone, project manage, things like this. And you can do this at Sprint. You just need to be willing and sign up. Let someone know that, oh, hey, I want to mentor. I'm going to sit and help people. I don't do this day to day. And, yeah, you can you get trained up on how to do it, get support, and you can just do it. You may not have done it before, but yeah. And also, you can sprint lead as well, which there's the overall sprint lead, where you just manage a sprint, and you just make sure everyone's fine, okay, happy, fed, watered, and that's an important role, and that can be your, yeah, that can be your whole role at sprint. And you're also project lead, so you can, you're just managing issues, making sure everything's in order, up to date, things are moving along. So you don't have to sit and work. You can do something completely different to what you used to. But finally, this is the most important. Sprints are all about community. I do not think you will fully understand the community until you attend a sprint and see what it's like. Um, you will see the community working together, Everyone has close bonds, everyone helps each other, supports each other, no matter who you work for, no matter what you do, no matter how long you know each other, people have this great um, companionship and just, there's a lot of love, there's a lot of love as friends. And someone asked me why I give up my, all of my spare time at weekends and things to go to sprints. And I can't quite place it, but I know that it, I have a lot of fun, I learn a lot, I like improve myself. Um, I have so many best friends from sprints, and I just experience more things than I would at home, sat at home with my computer, basically. Um, and what do sprints include? Well, there's a lot of fun that goes on outside of sitting with your laptop. So there's there's jokes, songs, lunches that involve sign up spreadsheets. Good lunches. We get pizza and. Loads of things. Um, there's we go out for drinks, we play games, we stay up really late, we spend a lot of time together, and it's just great. It's just it's more than just working, basically. Um, and finally, after hearing those things, it, um, you should know, like you should realize that you will achieve a lot. Whether it's improving yourself, becoming part of the community, uh, learning something new. Um, adding a cool thing to Drupal, adding even just one line to Drupal, helping others, this is a huge achievement. Sprints will help you do this, and it's all through the support on hard work from the community. So, oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot that, does it? Okay, so what can you work on? This sounds, all this stuff sounds awesome, but what can you work on? Well, it isn't just about sitting down with your laptop. This image sums it up perfectly. I will read some of the things because it's kind of hard to read. But this is a sign made at, originally made at Bad Camp, like put up, and it was adjusted by some of the community to reflect, to suit, like this is what Drupal Sprints are, are actually are. So the things you can do are, you can share ideas, communicate, plan events, review things, test things, work on design, yeah. Things like that, <laughs> but yeah. So it's just, and you can lead and you can mentor, like I said before. And this link at the bottom is, it goes to a page on Drupal.org where 
It out outlines tasks for there's developers, there's writers, kinds, and there's anyone. So you will find something that you will that suits you. Click on that, and then it will take you to how you can help with this thing in Drupal. Um, so beginners. I think that's what I'm Yeah, beginners. Um, so how can you help? Um, so if you want to get code into Drupal, don't worry. Sprints are fully geared up for beginners. The two words you need to remember are novice tasks. These are very small, achievable tasks that look pretty easy, like far too easy if you read it. But amongst learning how to contribute to Drupal and getting to know everyone and documentation, these things will take a lot longer than you think. But they will be easily achieved within a sprint. And we want you to feel good by the end of it and you've achieved something. So, yes, so examples of these novice tasks are, yes, yeah, so the novice tasks, they can be small parts of an issue or they can be a whole, a novice task can be a whole issue, it depends what you want to work on. So these things outlined, these are the parts of the issue that you can work on. So you could just be updating issue summaries so they make sense from what's happened so far. You can improve patches, you can make them apply to Drupal again. You can add screenshots to show what someone's work is fixed or not fixed or broken. And you can just push issues along. These are nice, achievable, things you can do and novice tasks are for anybody they should be so explanatory and easy that anyone can jump on a move you don't have to be a developer you can be absolutely anyone and you can work on code so yeah so the top link is a direct link to the drupal.org issue queue with a filter of novice and things that need work or active or need a patch and the bottom link is I found this the other day on Drupal.org and it's a page just for completely get up and novices how the whole issue process works and links to each section of these processes. So everything is really explained really well and this is great and I only found it the other day and everyone should go look at it. <laughs> okay. What is happening? Oh no. Okay. So yay! Let's go sprint. Where are we going to go sprint? Well firstly, there are sprints this weekend, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> there are sprints all weekend. Um, if you want to, after this, go to the sprint room and either listen to us, we can give you something to work on, just feel free. That's what we're around to do. Also, this website is awesome, drupalcloud.com, because it scrapes together all the Drupal events around the world. This is just Europe. This is just, like, now, the purple ones are the sprints. So these are all the sprints happening this weekend, which is absolutely awesome because it's global sprint weekend the focus is on sprints so yes this website will have all the camps sprints meetups user groups drupal cons I miss? yeah all those things and you can find that then go to their site then find the sprints if they don't have sprints hassle them to have sprints everywhere should have sprints and yeah this is a good place to go to know where to go Someone asked me last time I did this presentation, I can't get to a sprint. What do I do? I was like, you should host your own. This I have helped to host one. It's a, a while back. It's not too difficult. You just need a few things and a few promises from people to help in these roles. So things you need are put your sprint on groups.drupal.org. So you advertise it and you have and you advertise it, and also this will go onto that Drupal car site, so you'll be plotted on the map. You will be out there. Your sprint will be out there. And next, you should have provide a sign up sheet. Um, I don't know if you've seen the ones floating around for like Drupal cons and some camps. And you can put your name down under a topic and initiative. So I'm going to go to this camp and work on front end, and there'll be front end and me, and when I can turn up. So you can see who's coming, other people can see who's going, and it will attract more attendees. And lastly, um, you need to provide sprint space. So this can be in local university or someone's office at the weekend. If you can just get a, like, just get together a space, and yeah, just try and get together a space. 
And then the people, the people are quite important. So you need a sprint lead, like I said, who's going to caretake everybody. Um, initiative leads, if you can get someone to come in from somewhere, like say there's a critical issue sprint happening and you can get it to them to come to you, that will attract a lot more people and also there'll be a focus on the sprint. And yeah, and then also mentors. You don't have to have, like, just someone who can step into a mentor role is really helpful. Someone who is willing to bounce around and help out is super useful at sprints. So that, that's like, yeah, so there's those people. Yes, so when I asked the community about all the feedback about their first sprints, how they enjoy sprints, I got a lot of feedback on they didn't really know the differences between the kinds of sprints. So there's sprints that Drupal cons as camps, a dedicated sprints, and I'm going to talk about camps versus cons because they are quite different and if you know before you go, it might help you, you go to the right one that suits you more and you will enjoy it more. So Drupal cons, um, for beginners, the Friday is always set up for, geared up for newcomers. So yeah, and there was, there, you will learn a lot and it's a very structured program, a fast pace. There are workshops, sprints, lots and lots of support. And it's a quick and thorough boot camp kind of like, we're gonna get you through this, get you set up. You're gonna work on something. Um, a lot of people have attend these things and there are dedicated mentors helping people. So there is provided help. Um, like I said, it's very fast paced, um, quite hectic, and you need to absorb a lot during the day. So if that suits you, that's great, you'll be like, I will achieve something, done, yes. But some people prefer the quieter events where they can take more time and they're not sort of being so hectic and camps are more suited for this because obviously they're smaller events, uh, smaller sprints and camps look like this, like this is from a camp. So you'll be sat around a couple of tables rather than a hundred tables. So and um, there won't be, there might not be dedicated mentoring help, but you can ask the person next to you and if you're lucky, you'll be sat next to you like a seasoned pro, like someone you admire, like someone like you admire so much and they will teach you, they will help you, everyone will help you, they know what first prints are like. So you get a different kind of help. And also you end up with, you might end up the whole table helping you supporting it all day and it's kind of like a team yeah let's go it's, it's, it's a completely different type of sprint so it's good to know what the differences are before you go so my first few sprints um, they started off not so good because I didn't know a lot about what I was getting myself into what the event was what it was going to be like so my first sprint was at Drupalcon Munich I was feeling really optimistic. I was like, yes, this sounds amazing. I'm going to learn how to get it set up, how to do everything, Drupal 8, I'm going to know everything. So um, I turned up and I was a little bit overwhelmed by the pace and I didn't really have an, an idea of what was going on because it was just, I had only nothing. I, yeah, so um, I went through all the getting set up, everything, and then like, right, you're going to start on an issue. I was like, yeah, cool. And I didn't know where I belonged. I didn't know where to sit. So I was just told to sit on this table. I was like, okay. And then I'm a front end developer. I can work out. I keep saying front end developer. But um, and then it turns out I was on a PHP developer table essentially. So I was like, oh no, this is not good. So, but I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I was like, maybe I'm supposed to know PHP. This is. I was just gonna be crazy. So. I was given an issue and then I didn't say anything either that probably won't be able to, yeah. So I got stuck, panicked a lot, sat there and then I sort of just ran out the door after a while. I just, I didn't say anything. I was just like, maybe I'm supposed to know all this. So that went not too good. And then my second sprint was at Drupal Dev Days in Dublin. And I only went to this, but I thought, right, sprints aren't for me. I can't do it. No, no, I can't help, not for me. These people can handle it, fine. So I went to Drupal Dev Days, and I went to the sprint room to work on not sprinting. I was like, I can use this to work. And then people kept asking me, like, 
do you want to help? And I was like, no, I can't. I, really, I don't think I can. And then someone was like, no, I can't. Like, give me your laptop. And I was like, oh, all right, okay. So they set me up. They gave me an issue. They sat with me. And they made sure, it, like, they helped me get it done. And I was like, oh, I quite like this. It's pretty good. So, yeah, it was, it was pretty painful. It took a long time. I learned a lot. And at the end of the day, I wrote a patch. Like, I submitted something to Drupal. Someone reviewed it over there. And then it got committed by Dries the same day. So I was like, oh, this is pretty good. So it's, <laughs> like, it's pretty good. I, I like it. So, yeah, it's, yeah. So that's how I went. And then I just carry on going from there. I was like, I'm going to the next one. I'm just another thing. I'm amazing. So it's. Did Dries it, keep committing your patches? He's only ever committed one, that was the first one. It's special! The first hit's for free. <laughs> <laughs> it was something useful, I did not know it So yes. And then once you, this keeps happening, and it's just... You, you have to keep going, keep persevering, and it just gets better. It, it, it's addictive. It, I don't... Yeah. <laughs> so, after, from all my experience, other people's feedback, <coughs> seeing other people when I'm mentoring, there are things... You need to bear in mind when you go to your first sprint. So, the first thing is, do not expect to achieve everything. Don't turn up and be like, I'm going to finish this whole thing. Um, yes, this is going to go great. Yes, I'm going to be amazing. Because it probably might not. After speaking to people, I got <coughs> I was like, what was your first sprint like? And they're like, uh, I remember this feeling bad feeling, but it got better, like it's, you shouldn't expect the world at your first sprint. Um, for, and second of all, learning from my PHP mistake, go find your crowd. I'm not sure if I knew my crowd at the time, but I knew I was in the wrong place. So you make sure when you walk in, that I need to go find, like I had to go find front end people and sit with them and stay with them. because you'll be with your own people. And then when you're there, try to buddy up with someone. If it's someone you know, you're like, you're staying with me today. Like, you're helping me. Like, if you have that, know you have that support, that helps a lot. Um, and thirdly, ask for nice novice tasks. And like, nice is just, no, just ask for nice things. Don't say, oh, give me anything. Or just, yeah, give me a task. Because someone will just give you something and it might be not right. You want to ask for novice, <coughs> nice, Something you can achieve. Don't fall into that. Yeah. <laughs> um, next, keep asking for help. Just because you've asked like 10 really silly questions in the first hour, don't think you can't ask anything else. Keep up to ask 30 silly questions. Keep asking questions. People answer them and then you'll learn. You won't have to ask again. Like, it's common sense. It's great. Just ask for help. And then don't try to be perfect. I'm still quite bad at this now. And it basically means don't try to take something on and then spend five hours by yourself trying to perfect, say, this piece of work. Like, you don't have to complete everything and do it perfectly. You can just, you're there to push things along and make a bit of progress a little bit of the time. I'm really, I, yeah, people need to tell me to stop being perfect. So like, just submit what you've done and then someone will come back and then you can work on it again after that, and you can just, it's about building up slowly. And lastly, do not burn yourself out at your first sprint. I see so many people, and I did it a good few times, where by the end of the day, you've just been staring at this laptop all day, getting very stressed out, like just, uh, people look so distraught, have headaches, tired. You should get up, walk around, talk to people, just, don't expect that you have to sit there and complete this task that someone's given you. Because, yeah, it's, it's not fun. And then you won't want to come back if, at the end of the day, you just have this feeling of, ugh. So, yes, do not burn yourself out. So your second sprint and beyond. So yay, you're going to come back again. Yay. So there are still things you need to bear in mind. You shouldn't come back and think, yes, I'm an expert now. This is going to be great. I know what I'm doing. It's still not going to be easy at all. Um, you're still, you might have forgotten everything you learned last time. I can't really remember what I did yesterday, so I always have to relearn everything when I do it again. So you're still going to be sitting there learning, processing, not quite knowing what you're doing. Um, secondly, make sure you sign up. If you can sign up, 
sign up uh, to that sheet that I talked about. Because the people who know you're coming, you can, yeah, but you can see other people and you can tag along. Uh, still ask for help. So just because you've, you're at your second sprint, no one will know that, I don't think. So no one will know. And you can still ask all these silly questions again. Silly, these are silly to you, not, like, they're not silly questions. Good, clarify that. Also, speak up. This means if you have an opinion on something, like someone said, done something or said something, and you think, ah, I think I've got a better idea. Like, but don't, but you should say it. You should write it down. You should tell someone because just because you've been to like two sprints and they've been to a thousand, your idea might still be better or a better direction or more useful. So you should just speak up. Like, I was quite bad at the beginning. I was like, mm, and when I said it, they're like, oh. I'm like is, is, isn't that a great feeling as well? <laughs> so, yes. And also still stick to the small achievable tasks. This time you could probably achieve 10, maybe not 10, that's good. Yeah, a few more than one. <laughs> 10, <laughs> um, more than one. But don't think I'm gonna take on this huge thing and achieve it now, because you might get it's not a good idea. Um, and if you're interested in a particular area, so like say you wanna help out with multilingual, Go track down the multilingual lead. Go talk to them. You'll find out where, more, where it's going, what's happening, where you can fit in, and what you can help with, and just learn and be interested in it. And yeah, and the next time, you can go straight to the multilingual area and work on multilingual. Like, it's, yeah. Okay, lastly, I hope I mention mentoring a lot, because I love it. Mentoring is, someone's wearing a mentor t-shirt. Mentoring is fundamental to a sprint. If there needs to be people on hand to help out and support people. Um, there's one big myth, well I hope other people think this is, this is what I thought when I signed up to mentoring because I thought it was a good idea but I was terrified. I thought I had to know everything about contributing to Drupal. I thought I had to be like some kind of wizard. Um, but I signed up anyway, which was just, just very scary, but you don't have to know. Hmm, I don't think you have to know anything, really. Well, it's nice to feel confident about it, but you don't. You don't ha if you can find documentation, you know how to escalate things to people. Like, oh, so someone's like, I've got this problem, and you're like, this person will help you. Like, you just need to know things like this. And your main goal is to just cheer people on, like to be a moral support. You will sit there and you'll be like, you can do it. Like, it's just. Keeping people motivated and happy and cheering them on and watching them achieve things is so great. That just mentoring is awesome. It's yes. Um, it's oh, that link. Well, <laughs> tell me more about mentoring. I was like, there's only te technical things I need to tell you. So yes, mentoring. Finally, um, thank you for listening to me. If you have any questions about sprinting. There's me and there's a few other mentors, sprinters, sprint leads, initiative leads, all in this room. And people Who's been sprinting today already? <laughs> You've been sprinting, though. Yeah, I did some stuff. So the people have been doing it already? Yeah, yeah, I was sprinting yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so. so we're on that timeline. Did you become the Bartik theme maintainer? Only recently. Like. Two months ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, well, how do people? How do you know who's a maintainer of a, of a bit of code? So you said you mentioned go to the maintainer, but how do you know that? Hmm. At a sprint, I normally like there's normally like big Drupal con sprints. They'll have the table plan. I normally just head to that like area and be like, who's in charge? Like I, how do you find out who a maintainer is? There's a file. Oh yeah, that's where I am now. Yeah. Can I say something? Yeah. <laughs> no, so it's just uh, as, a, as a note to uh, Spain, you mentioned like the consensus banana, which is you know basically what that was was not so much it was not code, it was actually having uh, getting a consensus behind enough people so we could afterwards take a decision of where we would go. And a lot of the people who were in that discussion were not you know, 
well-known themers who have done all this work, it was basically, we called everybody from the room up to take, you know, anybody interested in this discussion, come up, take it with us, and we're probably gonna take the rest of the day. And it took about four hours, but by having um, many people who's not like well-known rock stars, whatever we call it, by having normal people who just work with the themes, having their opinion in, and figuring out that's me. I'm personally so deep into the system that I refuse to listen to anybody who's not agreeing with me because they must be idiots, right? So by having a, a, a chance to talk with quote unquote people who's not like deeply into the issues queue, but who's just doing normal work, was actually really uh, valuable for us when we took these decisions and getting that into having a group of about 40 people and giving us feedback. So that was not a coach, but it was basically just so getting asked about questions and having a bunch of the old men arguing and then getting more questions and then figuring out no, what are we going to do. And participating in those discussions is so important part behind this product that we do because you know, the first time you come in, as I said, you're not a well-known name. But then the fifth time you're in the, this discussion, you know people, you know how stuff works. And we need, we need to like, you know, keep feeding the machine. You know that Martin likes to fight by the fifth time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I like to fight. That's another thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that consensus a little bit. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I I don't have a question, but I have one comment that is about the regarding the questions during the sprints. I've been mentoring a few times people in the sprints, and what I found have found out that I people think that it's weird to ask questions from strangers. But uh, what, as a mentor, I, I feel weird if people don't ask questions from me. So it's like more weird that the, if you don't ask the questions over there. So you should ask them. People over there are more than happy to help you. And it, it, sometimes it might even feel weird that there's like 10 people helping you out with the one thing. But those 10 people, they are there for their free willing and they want to do it. And you shouldn't be afraid to use their time because they are doing it because they want to do it. So just go there and be open-minded and yeah. don't be afraid. Hello. I've got a question on the, so you talk about novice issues. Yeah. So a blocker for me, obviously I do a lot in Drupal, but I don't do any sort of core stuff mm -hmm. like that. So you look at a list of novice issues, the blocker for me is thinking, well, someone's probably working on that. And if I spend an hour on that, probably half an hour's time, someone will have put a patch up and I've wasted my time. So, is that make a real thing? Make, uh, make a comment. Make a comment. Make a comment. Make a comment. Is it yeah. as simple as that? Yeah. Because I mean, obviously, some of these things the are more flow. complicated than that, but yeah. It's the workflow. Okay, so, and that is the policy that people will do that. Yeah, you can anyway. decide it to yourself. You can claim it. You can comment. Like, I am working on this. Okay. You can put it back up. <laughs> and if, you, if you make a comment, yeah. say how long are you going to work on it for? Okay. Sometimes people can forget to uh, un un unlock it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it is nice if you say, I'm going to work on it yeah. this weekend or something like that. Okay. Yeah, add in comments here because sometimes you completely miss that someone has decided that, like, on the page it says it somewhere. But okay. so that I am working on it, done, yes. Actually, one of the best things that two people working on an issue is you know, normally you, you commit your patch. And then it sits there for three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> and then it needs to be re-rolled, and then you re-roll it, and it sits there for another three weeks. And then suddenly you're used four months of your life to yeah. follow this cat because nobody else oh, talks about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. This is why we need the second person to come in and be like, oh, here, Morton, that's your awesome patch. We can fix this thing you have been yelling about for six months. Let me just review the patch. Yes. And reviewing yeah. patches is one of the, I know that like, on a, on a I think it's one of the biggest issues we have right now, like having people to review a patch and be like, oh, how does this work? And that's, uh, uh, so I think the, uh, the first time I did a patch, and that's five years ago, I got burned down so hard, I got, I got taken down by sun. And anybody <laughs> tried that, it's not complicated. It's not, I mean, it took me a little bit of while before I came into it again, and then I began to carry. a very different approach now as well, I yeah. think. Stuff had really changed. It used to be like, if you like know that it's wrong, that's not how we do it here. We're like, <laughs> but the, uh, 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 the communication way and way people like talking to each other changed a lot. <laughs> yeah, how people understand that the power of the community is that we grow all the time and get all the new people yeah. inside there. And 
if we if we if we are not nice for the new people, then, then the power of the community will die someday. Yeah, then who should review my patch now? Can you stay <laughs> six yeah. months on this just because I want I was an asshole one day? So it's <laughs> it's a thing that has changed a lot. And also reviewing it, you don't need to again. It's just another person, isn't it? Reviewing it, yeah. saying yeah. someone Absolutely. else in the community, not yeah. necessarily <laughs> the owner of the. Um, yeah, yeah. it's well, really good well, that somebody else. No, everyone can review any yeah. of the patches, but the problem is that usually people prefer to work on something instead of looking what other people have worked on. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. You, you hang around the sprint room mm. and, and say, does anybody want anything reviewing? <laughs> you will. Yeah. 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 So please review yeah. yeah. the start. Yeah. Believe me. Yeah. Like when yeah. I mentor, now I, the first thing I give people are things to review because you're not worrying about the quality of your work and if someone's going <coughs> to be mean, I can always be mean. You can say so like I you can learn, you. like you can read through, you can understand the issue better because you have to sit there and understand what's happened, and then you can look at someone's work and if you be like, you can criticize is a bad word. You can like it's see what someone's done wrong. Constructive feedback, and then you can yeah. you end up doing more bits to do with contributing to Drupal. Like you put screenshots in, you you can improve the patch yourself if you want. It's better to start doing reviews first. You learn so much. I was so scared of doing reviews. They're not scary. Like I thought someone was not gonna like what I say, but yeah, it reviews are great. And summarizing issues as well. Ooh. Yeah, when they go off if something's gone on for yeah. two hundred comments, the description of the issue may not be what's happened what's, <laughs> what's actually going on. So just reading through it and it can take a while to read through all those comments and look at the patches and think mm. about, you know, where the discussion has gone and well, how what's, to... What's the etiquette in that? <coughs> if someone's written an initial issue and there's been a big discussion and you just come wading in and decide to summarise it, it's that... I, well, I, I should be a little you shaky ground. Sprints, and... You'll often have um, uh, an agreement that these are the issues Fair which enough. are going to be worked on during these sprints and then at the table, you would be the person who's working on that particular task. Okay. So it's not necessarily something that would just happen I know that's a that's another specialty. Randomly team. and magically outside of a sprint, is that true though? Mm -hmm. Do people randomly and magically just come along and rewrite? And some, um, sometimes we, we, we tag stuff. There's yeah. tags. Yeah. So another thing that really yeah. great, especially yeah. being, I'm not native English speaker, and I'm now it's not either, and we would go in and be like, oh, okay, we need to fix this. Block <laughs> needs to be fixed because they suck ass. <laughs> so if we have people who like natural English speaking can then <laughs> present it in a way better way, <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. translate more, <laughs> trans <laughs> translate <laughs> every team, you know, shit sucks ass, fix shit now. <laughs> <laughs> I have actually that put. Is in, actually I have <laughs> actually put more than one issue in that way, and that because sometimes you get okay, let's just get the shit in. Okay, fix templates that sucks. So that could be a, a please, someone can, please. Yeah, <laughs> as long as there's a please, right? Yeah, but thank you. Yeah. But let me take these. So we so sometimes like having people having these skills is not only about. It's also about when we have <coughs> thirty thousand developers who can put code in. Figuring out what actually goes going is going on is really really valuable, and having those uh, release notes when the patch is in, that was the biggest issue we had with the uh, when we killed node IDs. Yes. As a theme, yeah. node IDs have been a pain in the ass for me for eight years. Mm -hmm. And often uh, we had the patching, everything was ready to roll, but we need somebody to do the. Um, the release note. The had I had to go off <laughs> and pray from the microphone and <laughs> finding two people who would do that because uh, yeah. it yeah, would be a different skill. Yeah. 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 And there was two people jumping on it and 15 minutes later we would hear the millions of crying IDs disappearing. Those are the things that need to get in. You have the discussion, you have the code, then you have the back and forth with the code. Then suddenly, okay, now it's ready to roll. Mm -hmm. Then you have uh, what <coughs> actually happened here, so our committers understand what happens, so they can just read the issue show and be like, oh, yeah, you're changing all of this, fair enough. And then we have the release notes, so the rest of the community understand what we actually did in this release. Mm -hmm. How many people have attended a sprint before? Have. How many people who didn't put their hand up are now willing to try going to a sprint? Sweet. We might bring candy. So, Emma, we're 
is the sprint? Where are the sprints <laughs> happening? <laughs> in this building. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm upstairs. going back there afterwards. Yeah, follow me. Yeah. Okay. Follow like, shirts. <laughs> yeah, follow me. I will find out. But yes, we are sprinting, and tomorrow we're sprinting as well. So if you're yeah. around, you should go to sessions too, but you should sprint. Like, I'll be sprinting all day. Yeah. And even just an hour, just yeah. to come in. Even just to come in. Even if you just want to sprint during the next session. But that's my session. Yeah, that's not my session. Yeah, even if you speak to us and just find out what you could potentially like find your thing you want to work on, like your place, like your yeah, so then your next sprint you can like, I know I want to do this and then you can yeah. Or if you don't know either, you don't need to know necessarily, no. but you do need to be willing to say that doesn't sound right. Yeah, because when you landed at the PHP people, that could have been really interesting. I literally convinced myself that, that was what I was <laughs> supposed to do in life. I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> like, I, know, I know that tomorrow one of the things we're going to discuss is you know, something as interesting as uh -oh. how we're going to navigate around all the CSS files in Drupal 8 and Drupal 4. But all these people in front and I see yeah. everybody is trying to do because these people look like intelligent people. So <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Um, no, but it's just to, I mean, even if you're like, oh crap, my technical skills are not good enough, that thing ends up having normal people to give feedback is so valuable. Especially if, if I'm jumping into the fire, which is sometimes issue to it, nice to figure out that I'm not completely idiot before the interview. Yeah, but we're going to decide. Sometimes, I said sometimes. <laughs> Apparently, Emma has a problem with her throat today. <laughs> okay, but yes. Thank <laughs> you.